All right, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about how to animate your newly drawn Christmas lights. And this tutorial is based off my previous tutorial uh, talking about uh, how to draw uh, Christmas lights. So at the end of that tutorial, I showed you a trick on how to create uh, uh, multiple colors without having to, to redraw the whole thing. Uh, and using that trick, I've gone through and created multiple colored lights here. <clears throat> and two of each, uh, one off one on, um, and uh, in the in the colors blue, green, orange, red, and purple. And I've put these in uh, that that sequence. Again, blue, green, red, or blue, green, uh, yellow, orange, red, purple. I'll get my colors right. Again, blue, green, orange, red, purple. And it's always off on, off on, off on, off on. Etc. all the way through. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to create the, an animation. And this is going to be a very simplistic animation and um, you can go to File, New, Animation or get, just press Control shift n to open up a new animation, um, which is what I just did. Uh, this animation, uh, I want to go on a website and I want it to go across the entire page of my website. <clears throat> so this animation size is not going to work for me. Uh, so I'm going to go down to Page Options, File, Page Options, and change the uh, uh, the size of my animation. So uh, it's already set up to custom, so 955 pixels wide, because that's the width of my web page. And I'm going to change this to about uh, I don't know, 150 or something along that line. Oh, what happened there? File, Page. Options. I didn't, I didn't delete a part of it, yeah. There's one, one too many zeros. There we go. All right. Now that I have that, uh, this is going to be the exact size of my animation. Um, uh, the now this is the page that I want it to go on, and you can see that this page uh, is not does not have a white background like my as my animation does. Uh, its background is this 90% uh, black. I mean, if I were to drag this up here, you could see, tell that, that that's pretty much what. Uh, what this web page is. Um, so what I need to do here is I need to change this to 90% to black. So I'm just going to drag up from the color bar, 90% uh, black, boom, there we go. There's my my background. It's going to be the same as my, my web page. Now I'm going to uh, control A on this page to select all of them and, uh, and control C to copy. And then take open up my, my new animation and press control V, which uh, brings them all in. Now, the, as you can tell, these are much, much too large. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and reduce the size of these things. Now, even now that they all fit, that's probably a bit larger than I want them to be, right? So I'm just going to decrease the size of even a little bit more. Now, I need to go ahead and create my cable. So I'm going to just take my shape editor and make a line here with a point in the middle. Okay, and that gets me a line. I'm going to bend that down a bit on each side. So it looks like it's it's been tacked up here at the at the, the points and gravity's uh, dragging that down a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this to about a four point uh, line and then I'm going to give it a dark line color. So I'm going to set the line color to, to dark green. All right. So there's my, my cable. And then, next thing I'm going to do is start hanging my lights on this cable. So, um, something that helps me is to place my ends and then place my middle. Right? That's pretty easy to see that that goes right in between those two. And then I can just get the middles for the remaining lights. And then I get them fairly equidistant. Yeah. So that helps me to, to place things. I'm going to do the same thing again here. Place the, the, the beginning and the end light. Place the, the middle light. And then, I didn't quite get that dead on the middle, but that's okay. You can just adjust them as you need them. Anyway, so once I have my lights placed, um, that's going to be the, the basis of my animation. Um, I need to speed things along here because it's going, uh, time's flying by. 
But the next thing I'm going to do is press uh, copy. So I've got this one, one frame complete. Now I'm going to press copy. And uh, now I've got a, a second frame here. Um, this uh, is going to be um, an exact duplicate of the one that I just, just uh, created. So what I need to do is change this one to animate it, right? Um, and I don't want to go through in, in a, a ton of detail on this, but uh, the way you do it is, is you double click on one of these light bulbs and then you can, you can edit it, right? It's a group. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this to be a on bulb, which I showed you how to do in the previous animation. Um, so you just go through the steps that I showed you in the previous animation that that's now on and all you have to do is add your glow um, by adding the glow shadow here, upping that to 40 pixels, changing this to 15% transparency and, um, and getting a nice uh, uh, blue color on the, uh, on the glow. Yeah. So that's, that's how you change one, save it, and then you change this one to be off. Right, by removing the glow and giving it the darker colors uh, that I showed you on the on the uh, the previous tutorial. Now I've already done one of these, so I'm going to skip ahead a bit. Basically, you would you would continue that uh, through for the entire row of lights, and you'd have one set that's on and one set that's off. So I'll show you that here. So here I have one set on, and once one, and then the alternating set on, if you will. Right. And that's what you do. You do a couple of these. So on, off, on, off, and then all off. And what you do is you just you just set it up to go, go through that way. And it doesn't matter um, what order these are in, as long as you get an on, off, on, off um, set going. And then somewhere in the middle, you can put your, your all off uh, um, frame and then when you do that I'm going to show you um, in a GIF animation what that would look like. It's going to take a second for that to, to, to work its way through. But basically there you go. There's the browser preview of what that would look like. Yeah? So you get on, off, on, off, and then all off. Yeah? So having shown you that, that's pretty basic. Now I'm going to go through and go to my web page. And it's just as easy once you've, I'm sorry, one thing that I do need to show you is, is how to export it, right? You can click on this button, export GIF animation. You can also do a flash animation. It doesn't matter. Either of these will work on, on the web page. But I've gone ahead and saved one of these. So export GIF, and you can see it's already here. Uh, this Christmas lights animation, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to go to my web page and say import file, import, and here's my Christmas lights animation. Open, and it's going to pop up in my uh, in my web page. All I have to do is place it where I want it. There we go, perfectly placed on my web page. And if I preview my web page, it doesn't like my font, but that's okay. And there it is. My Christmas slides perfectly animated on my web page in uh, on my website. Yeah. So I hope that was helpful and informative, and uh, you find it useful. And we will hope to see you back again very soon.